Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this teddy bear lovey. So for this project, um, I bought a five pack of this yarn, this Kramer Lux Carpal yarn, and uh, I only used two and a half. I used two, and then I got a little bit left of the third. Plus I bought two of this coffee kind of color, coffee brown, and I bought, uh, I bought two of these two and only used one. So from the yarn I, I bought, I got exactly enough to make another one if I wanted. The blue, I just had some scrap yarn blue, a little bit of it, I don't have the paper. But it matched really well with the blue of the afghan, so I decided I'd go ahead and use it to get more color for the ears and the mouth and everything. So if you got a little bit of blue, uh, or whatever color, if you want to use a variegated yarn just like me, Try to match the color if you can, as best as you can. A few more things you're going to need for this guy is he's a stuffed animal, so you're going to need some fiber fill. And for his eyes and his nose, I used this felt. So you're going to need a little bit of white, a little bit of black, and also a hot glue gun to be able to so I uh, mean to glue the eyes together and the nose on. For this project, you're also going to need a tapestry needle for sewing, a pair of scissors. And you're going to need two hooks. One is a size 3 millimeter hook or a size C hook for the US. And also a 5 millimeter hook which is a size H hook for the US. So go ahead and grab your 5 millimeter hook because that's what we're going to be using to make the afghan. I don't know how many, just like the unicorn lovey I did, I don't know how many it's going to take me to, to teach this. But I'm guessing it's going to be kind of the same. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and complete, uh, I should say the pattern is complete and I will have it on my Etsy and Reverly shop if you want to buy the pattern in full with all the, the pictures and everything. You don't have to wait till all the tutorials are released. Okay, for the size of this afghan, uh, it is 57 uh, centimeters wide and lengthwise it's 71 centimeters. And in inches, it's 22 inches wide and 28 inches long. The gauge for this pattern is measured from one single crochet to the next single crochet with a shell in the, the middle. So basically I was measuring how much uh, each shell and it's five centimeters, which is about two and a half centimeters per shell. Um, also, if you want to make this afghan a larger size, you can. I have on the pattern uh, how much you would need to chain or single crochet foundations, I mean um, double crochet foundation stitch in order to get the size needed for twin, full, queen, or king. You can find that on the pattern page. Also, uh, I taught this stitch a while back when I was teaching a lot of stitches. And there's, so there's a graph on this. And you can find the link to the graph to this stitch also on my site. Now uh, the multiples of this afghan, if you're chaining, is six, multiples of six plus five. And what that means is that you're going to be chaining in multiples of six, 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 six until you reach your desired size. And then you would do chain five more for your plus five and then you would be ready to start. Also, uh, if you're going to be doing what I did, which is using double crochet foundation stitch, then you're going to want to use, uh, you're, you're going to want to do multiples of six plus two. And so you'll be doing the multiples of six until you reach your desired size and then you'll add two more double crochet foundation stitches and then you'll be ready to do the stitch. Now to make the afghan we're going to be using a five millimeter hook or size H hook for the US and we're going to be using worsted weight yarn which is 10 ply for Australia and 4 ply for the US. Okay so the size that you need to make for this afghan is um, 86 double crochet foundation stitches or you want to chain 89. So I'm going to go ahead and do double crochet foundation stitches and if you don't know how to do those I'm going to show you that real quick. What you want to do to make a double crochet foundation stitch is you want to start off by chaining three. Then you want to go into this very first chain, first yarn over, go into that very first chain that you did and you're going to pull a loop through. Then you're going to yarn over and only pull through one of those loops that creates the chain. And then you're, you're going to do your double crochet as normal. So you'll yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now this very first stitch that we did, which I said is the chain, is what we're going to be using to make our next 
double crochet and chain because double crochet foundation stitches is where you're making the chain and the double crochet all at once so you want to yarn over go into that very first stitch pull up a loop and then if you want to hold it with your finger here so that you don't lose your first stitch you can yarn over pull through only one that's your chain and this is also the stitch we're going to be using to go back into when we have got done making our double crochet so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick I'm still holding on to my chain here so I know this is my stitch so I'm going to yarn over and go into that stitch pull up a loop again you want to yarn over only pull through one which creates the chain and then finish your double crochet as normal yarn over again go into that first stitch which is the chain pull up loop yarn over only pull through one creating the chain and then complete your double crochet as normal and you want to go ahead and do it until you have 86 of these if you're chaining go ahead and chain until you have 89 chains okay so you want to continue to double crochet foundation stitch until you have 86 total and if you've chained your 89 then you want to go ahead and double crochet in the sixth chain from your hook so you're going to count two three four five six seven okay so just imagine you want to count one two three four five skip five and then the sixth one you're going to be putting a double crochet and then you want to double crochet down your chain and at the end of your row you should have 84 stitches and once you've done that then you will be caught up to where we are and you'll be ready to begin row two and row two you want to begin by chaining three and turn now we're going to this chaining counts as your first stitch so we're going to skip this second stitch here and then this third stitch over you want to put a single crochet then you'll chain three then now you want to skip two stitches so one two and then this third one over you want to put a single crochet and you'll be repeating this for the row you'll be chaining three skip two third one over put a single crochet just keep continuing to do this for your row skip two single crochet and at the very end of your row you should have two stitches left a double crochet and your beginning chain three what you want to do with the very end of your row is you want to chain one and then you want a half double crochet in the top of your ending chain three and that will end row two okay for row three you want to chain one and turn then you want to single crochet in this very first half double crochet of your row and then skipping this first chain one space and moving into our first chain three space of our row we're going to be making our first shell and how you do that is you put two double crochets worked in this chain three space then chain two and then put two more double crochets all worked in this same chain three space and then in the next chain three space we're going to anchor that down by putting a single crochet so single crochet only worked in the next chain three space so then we're going to repeat again the double crochet chain two two double crochets two double crochets chain two two double crochets in this next chain three space so go ahead and repeat that two double crochets chain two and two double crochets and then again you anchor that shell down using the next chain three space and you just put a single crochet there and you're going to continue this all the way to the end of your row double crochet chain two two double crochets chain two two double crochets and then you're you always single crochet in the next at the end of this row is the same you'll single crochet in the first chain this I'm sorry the chain one space not the first chain the chain one space I'm just going to go right into the space itself there 
So it's pretty cut and dry on the second row. Okay, for row four, for row four you want to chain three and turn. That chain three will count as the first stitch. Now for this row, we're only going to be working with our double crochets that's on the either, either side of our chain two. So we have two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets that make up our shell. And we're only going to be using these two double crochets that are on either side of our chain two. These other two double crochets we're going to be ignoring this row. So we're going to be picking up the post of that first one. So you go ahead and yarn over, pick up the post, and you're going to be doing a front post double crochet as usual. So just do your double crochet. Now you want to chain two and single crochet in our chain two spot. Then you'll chain two again, and this is where we're going to be start starting our front post double crochet decreases. So like I said, we're going to be using this double crochet on the either side of the chain two. So go ahead and yarn over and pick up that first post, pull up a loop, yarn over and only pull through two, leaving that last loop on your hook. Then you're going to be moving over to your next shell and then this, to this next post of this double crochet that's beside our chain two on this shell. So go ahead and yarn over, pick up that post, again pick up a loop, pull through only two, two loops on your, uh, I'm sorry, three loops on your hook, and then you want to finish your decrease by pulling through all three loops. Then you'll chain two and you'll be working your chain two space as normal every time. You'll chain two, put a single crochet, and then chain two. And then it brings us back to our front post double crochet decrease. So again, yarn over using the post on this side of the chain two, pick that up, pull, pick up a loop and then pull through only two. Then yarn over, find the double crochet that's on this side of this next shell. And again, you want to pick up a loop, only pull through two, three loops on your hook, pull through all three loops. Then again, you'll want to chain two, single crochet in the center, and chain two, and then you'll continue that for your row. When you get to the very end of your row, you want to go ahead and grab up, so yarn over, go ahead and grab up this last double crochet, and pull through two, and then you want to put yarn over and go ahead into this last single crochet, pick up a loop, pull through two, and then you'll finish your double crochet decrease. And then that will end one, two, three, four, row four. Okay, so for row five, we're going to chain three and turn. Chain three again will count as your first stitch of the row. And on this row, we're going to be doing a repeat of here, which is just having one double crochet in all your stitches. You're going to be putting two double crochets in all your chain two spaces and one double crochet in each of your single crochets and uh, this little section here where you did your front post uh, decreases. So your decreases will only get one, single crochets will only get one, but these two chain two spaces, you'll put two double crochets in there. And the end of the row was a single crochet, so this chain three already counts as a double crochet for that, so we're gonna move over to our first chain three space and we're gonna put two double crochets in that space. Then in our single crochet, you'll put one double crochet. Then uh, in the next chain two space here, we're going to put two double crochets. And then we've reached this stitch here, which is our decrease. So we'll put one double crochet in that. Then again, two double crochets worked in our chain two space, one in our single crochet and then again two in your chain two space. And you're just going to continue this all the way down your row until you have all your double crochets. And you should have whatever you began with down here. You should have equal number on this row as well. And you should count your stitches and make sure that you're still on the right track. Okay, I'm getting to the end of my row. And this is my last front post double crochet. And then this is the top of my chain three. So I'm going to put one there as well. So that ends row five. And now you're going to be doing the repeat rows one through five. And just to remind you, this is a repeat of row one. And as you remember, we started here. 
So for row six, you would begin by chaining three and turning. And remember, you're going to skip. This, this chain three counts as your first stitch. So you're going to be skipping the second one and then the third one over. You're going to do a single crochet. And then now you'll be chaining three, skipping two, and the third one over, you'll be doing your single crochet. So continue this all the way down your row. That's a repeat of row six. I'm sorry, that's a repeat of row uh, two, I believe. So that's a repeat of row two. So you're going to be repeating rows one through five over and over again. Go ahead, feel free to uh, rewind the video, check out the chart, check out... Uh, Rewind the tutorial, I'll be having all the rows clearly marked, and continue this until you have reached your desired size or the width that I mentioned, I sorry, no, the, the length that I mentioned earlier. Okay guys, when you're done with the afghan part and you're ready to do the border of your afghan, then go ahead and grab your 5mm hook and attach your yarn back on it. Oh, and the yarn that I used for the ruffle and all the way around was the same color that I used for the, the teddy bear. I didn't use the variegated for the, the, the outside border of the afghan. I just used the brown. Because you really want to do a double crochet attachment here. You can do a slip stitch, chain two, but it just looks better to do a double crochet attachment. And because this is already so ruffled, I'm going to go ahead and show you on the side. Now, to do the ruffle, you're only going to be doing this ruffle part of the stitch lengthwise. So as you can see, there's my guy here. He's on the long side. So you're only going to be doing it on the very top and the very bottom will be ruffled. The sides are going to be just a single crochet. So how you want to do this is you want to attach it on one of the long uh, sides. So it could be the top or the bottom. And I'm going to show you how you attach your yarn by using one of these simple stitches on the side. So to do a double crochet attachment, you want to yarn over, find a stitch to put your, your hook in, pull up a loop. Whoops, got to hold that down. Yarn over and hold that loop on there with your, with your little finger. Stick it in a stitch, then you want to pull a loop up. Three loops on your hook, just like a regular double crochet. You'll yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's your first double crochet. Working in the same stitch, you want to put two more double crochets in there. And then the very next stitch, and in all stitches along the top, you'll want to put three double crochets in each stitch. So. This ruffle is made by just putting three double crochets in each stitch along the top. Let me get this out of the way here. And then you want to continue to do your three double crochets all along this top area until you reach the end of your row. And then you want to turn to the side and in the very first stitch of this row, someplace on, the, on the, the side here, you want to put a half double crochet. And then the rest of them, you want to put a single crochet. But you want to get that half double crochet in there because it's the step down from double crochet to single crochet and it kind of helps the corner here. So the first stitch will always be a half double crochet. And then you'll try to do your best keeping your single crochets as evenly as you can. There's no set place that you can put them. Just try to, you can put a couple close together, but just try not to put uh, two single crochets too far apart. Try to stay as consistent as you can all the way down till you reach your very last stitch on the side. And again, you want to put half double crochet before on the corner before you turn and start your three double crochets worked in all your stitches along the top. And it'll go along the same when you get to the end of this row. You turn, first one half double crochet, and then the rest will be single crochet. And you'll continue to do that all the way to the end. And then the very last stitch will be a half double crochet. And then go ahead and slip stitch in the beginning double crochet attachment. And then chain one, cut your yarn, hide your tails, because you are done with your afghan part. And you're also done with your five millimeter hook. So put that aside 
and now you want to grab your three millimeter hook or size C hook because now we're going to be making the doll part of this pattern.